this video, we continue sailing up the Sea of Cortez and the girls get really excited because we come across a sea lion colony. And then we sail up to San Evaristo, which is a sleepy little fishing village and the only civilization for 50 miles in any direction. We had spent the night at the beautiful bay of Isla San Francisco. Isla San Francisco was one of our favorite spots on the whole trip through the Sea of Cortez, so if you're passing through, you need to stop there. So we're getting underway this morning, only got about an hour and a half over to San Evaristo. Should be much calmer today. Hopefully there'll be some civilization where we can get some food and, and then keep on trucking. Hopefully the sun comes up. Yeah, I hope it's water. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. This is our star Starlink dish. It's the RV version, but it works on a boat too. I think they've even allowed you to do it now. We've been using it pretty good here. I mean, like, even having the rigging and stuff in the way, like we just put it on the bow, we've been getting, you know, 200 megabytes down and 15 megabytes up, megabits a second up. So it's been uh, pretty useful. I mean, it kind of sucks. Like it's kind of like, hey, everybody just enjoy the moment out here rather than being on your phones. But when you got to work remote like we do, it's what you got to do. The ladies were taking care of the anchor and we were about ready to go. out of the north again, so we were motoring about 15 miles up to Santa Marista. The girls were pretty excited as we were passing by a sea lion colony. Passing by the sea lions, it was another hour or so up to San Evaristo. San Evaristo is a small little fishing village of no more than 50 or 60 people and completely off grid. They're not connected to power and there's no phone service there. Duty. They just remind me of dinosaurs. Forty meters of chain. Okay. Get in. 
There was one small restaurant on the island and we were going to explore it. And now push. <laughs> Nothing better than an authentic Mexican lunch and fresh caught fish. Wow. Very stiff. What do you think of this? Um, they're really big. But they're really pretty. But I don't like that they're Santa Barista is a quaint little village and a beautiful spot, and I highly recommend visiting. Make sure to bring all your own provisions because their only store is pretty small. Is there anything you need? I don't see charcoal or anything. We struck out looking for charcoal, so it was back to the boat. We've got stiff here swabbing the dicks. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't even say what the straight face is. <laughs> you know, just cleaning up all the shit that piles up after a couple days of being on here and it doesn't help that it's white so it makes everything look so dirty so, you know a little soapy water doesn't hurt and there you go voila you're doing a fantastic job why thank you my kind sir without my love for the ocean A devotion that brings me down. That without my love for the ocean, I would be no one. No. There were some nice snorkeling spots right next to the boat, although because it had been so windy for the past few days, the water was a bit cloudy. Somebody dumped a whole bunch of car batteries. There's like 20 car batteries down there. There's something different. Unfortunately, I'd seen this in a few places down in the Sierra Cortez, as well as a lot of tires dumped also. We fly around like paper planes. They never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us. Still, they want to tear us apart. There's something different by the way we are, are, are. Ooh, 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 ooh. So you go like around the 
bush up through the tree back down or something? <coughs> what, bush? <laughs> what bush is up he talking the about? Hole, or down through the hole, around the tree, back in the hole or some sort of thing like that. You guys confused <laughs> I guess we're not oh, sure either. Oh, there's a thingy here. Just Excuse bumped against it. You right, Steve? Yeah, I don't know. It's just dying. <laughs> oh, Are you done yet? Down through the hole. Up. That almost looks right. Uh, I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> you got a rabbit, goes around the tree, looks out back to the hole, you know. Wait, so it sounds like this, right? And with him around there, like that? Uh, I mean, no? yeah, ish. Generally, the way you do it is, so you're holding it like that. I mean, you can do it that way, but I do it the other way. Okay, it's like, lift him there. Yeah, so then you come up through the hole, mm -hmm. around the tree, and then back down, back down <laughs> the hole. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think it was having the right hand put me off. That's yeah, yeah. on. Thanks. Why is that not so important? Uh, the reason it's not so important is because two things. It it's a very solid knot. It doesn't let go very easily. And like you can put this knot like on a lot of load, right? You can put this on. You can lift. I don't know as long as the breaking strength is of this rope, and you can still untie it very easily. Whereas a lot of knots, if you once you tie them and you put a load on them, you can't get it undone. Put a load on them? Yeah, put a load on it. And then you can get it undone. Oh, really? And then you can get it undone? I know where this conversation's going around. Child. <laughs> I live with a child. It's mine is much easier when I watch this. Look, you do this. Uh -huh. And you go around. Oh. One more round. In the hole. And you pull. And well, that's, that's a eight. That's a figure eight. <laughs> what? That is a figure eight, and you did a great job on that, but that is not the knot we were tying. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, we are having a great time down here in the Sea of Cortez, really enjoying it out there. Uh, check out our sister channel, Glamping Doodles, where you can see us do it uh, in an RV as well. Pretty cool there. And thank you guys for watching. Click that like button, it really helps out. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing that. And also, it's our channel members and our patrons that make this channel possible. We depend on you because we've been getting a lot of videos demonetized recently because of, well, it's just kind of crappy. It's uh, the filters and all that stuff on there. But thank you guys for helping out. And uh, our channel members and our patrons got this video, got access to this video uh, three days early too. So pretty cool. And ad free. That's breaking my heart each morning while the keeps it going.